didn't know that Mark's got a power class in. So to him, it actually looks better right now. It'll look to him like the play he made was better. I'll stifle the exalt. Stifles the trigger. I haven't been paying attention. Do you have any clue what the lights are? Uh, yeah, it's currently 8 for uh, Mark Larson and f uh, 4 for Sam Cotarella. Okay. So that hasn't changed. So, yep, stifled the uh, exalted trigger so that his Muniball could trade. Yep, That's right. Life totals, please. But uh, yeah, so as you saw there, he stifles the Mutavolt, I'm sorry, stifles the Exalted Trigger on the Nakatl, and then allows his Mutavolt to trade with just the 3-3. Three, three. So he's sitting on just a Spell Pierce in hand then? Yep. So just a Spell Pierce in hand for... not basic. Right. Does he not play basics? Well, no, I think he well, assumes no. he's going to just be killing a back to basics here. Right. So he goes the path the. It's going to get Spell Pierce. Yeah, it goes the path the Lord of Atlantis, but gets Spell Pierce. So Sam out of cards in hand, but. I know he's. He's staving off death here pretty well, and he's up in the he's uh, he close in the life total. He's, he's at four, right. but he's surviving. Now he's got two three threes. He, right. just, he just upgraded. Nice rip. Exactly. Crashes in for three with the original Lord of Atlantis. See what happens here. Mark will finally be able to uh, block, preserve the three points of damage, and take out the back to basics as Sam is finally exhausted, cards in hand. Sure, the so next turn we'll get a big untap. Play a lot of spells. He's got a pyroclasm, but it won't do anything now because they're both three threes. He drew a lightning helix. Well, now he's got a lightning helix, so. And life totals are it's, seven he's at four. four. And his hand is pyroclasm, lightning helix. It still looks like a Gaddictee to me. And a third Kasali Pride Mage. He's going to Helix Lord of Atlantis, put himself up to a. Uh, Ten. Yeah, put himself up to 10. No, is this another Pride Mage? Yep, but it's another Pride Mage. Yeah, he's holding Gaddic Teague and Pyroclasm now in hand. Uh, Sam's draw. Let's see if we can get a look at it here. It's like a Wasteland? Yep, definitely Wasteland. He just trades on. Trades the Lord of Atlantis. I don't know, like, if you're all, you're back up to 10 at that point, don't yeah. you just take it and make him have an answer? I agree. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know why he blocked there. I don't know why you don't just play the wasteland there either. Well, you can blow like a counter spell at least, but it's not like Mark's not going to just play things yeah. anyways. I am really glad that was a Gaddick Teague. I would have felt like the dumbest person alive. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't know why it's in the deck, but I'm glad that that's what it was. Now there's a divert. <laughs> well, the divert's actually pretty good here. Or no, he's got enough mana on tap, it won't matter. Divert won't actually accomplish anything, because chain lightning is so cheap. So power plasm, chain lightning... You can like potentially draw into Try it. Force. Try it. Divert to get a team. See what his opponent does. Oh, his opponent base two. He two. Shucks. That's, that's the game. Oh boy. Mark Larson wins that match two games to zero. It's kind of a rough matchup here.